and number of scan ports. So basically you all understand scan chain length will define the load and load cycles uh, for one pattern. And if you have a n number of patterns, n into that many cycles, right? One pattern in our example, 1000 is the length, so 2001 for one pattern. Suppose I have 100 patterns, 2001 into 100. If I have 1000 patterns, 2001 into 1000. Of course, you have this optimization, you do that. And shift frequency, right? At how fast you are shifting in and shifting out, or how fast you are loading and unload, also affect the test time, right? And of course, how many chains you have here, which is kind of independent to the test time because we know that if I have a 10 chains, I'll do all the 10 chains simultaneously. So it's not a linear uh, factor because you have a 10 chains, you need to have a 10x test time. If you have a one chain, you have a one X test time. No, because all the chains we do simultaneously. But these are the three factors which makes a difference. Um, yeah. So we want to reduce the test time and we need to handle a, a much uh, higher data volumes because the design sizes have increased. It used to be a thousand flops and you went to a few lakhs and now a uh, thousand to lakhs and lakhs to now we are talking about millions, right? And also the memories of the uh, tester, right? So when you go to a million flops designs, then the patterns also increased drastically right so you need to save all those patterns in a test memory and test memory itself is a limitation so you need a bigger memory testers then it's expensive because they are the high end so to address all these things somebody came up with a technique called a compression so is technique this technique is used to reduce the test time okay and of course once you reduce the test time cost of the testing ICs will also uh, reduces but we are not compromising on the quality. That's what the preserving design quality. Okay. So that's a summary or a concept of the compression. <clears throat> Just now what we have uh, discussed, same thing, length of the scan chains will reduce. So here, suppose if you think that as per our example, um, or make it simple, this is a 10,000 suppose if you think, here you made it as a hundred. Okay. And of course, uh, the moment you reduce this, hundred means you have reduced by hundred X. That means the number of chains will be increased because total number of flops is not going to change, right? Suppose in this example, you have a three chains, each is 10,000. So total flops you have in your design is 30,000, right? Now we are talking about, I want to have only hundred flops in a chain then you need 300 chains here, right? So you need a 300 chains. So originally you have a three chains here, and now you are talking about a 300 chains here. So 300 is to three, okay? This is what you want. And of course, there is something called a compression ratio, which is a simple way of saying is, now you need a 300 chains here, so 300 by originally you have a three chains here so three which is nothing but 100x compression okay so you're able to achieve 100x compression because now you change or you compress the scan chains in such a way that <clears throat> three became a 300 here right and uh, uh, 10,000 became a 100 of the length now number of scan chains increased length of the scan chain decreased right length of the scan chain decreased from 10000 to 100 and number of scan chains increased from 3 to 300 so but external world which is from external outside of the ic if you look at it there won't be any change you still have a three scan in three scan outs here also three scan in three scan outs and what we were talking about is these magic boxes, right? These are the two boxes really helping us to convert three to 300 and 300 back to three. <clears throat> so what do you call those boxes, right, or blocks? So this is what you call it as a decompressor, okay? And this is what you call it as a compactor. So 
decompressor and uh, compactor decompressor is at input side where you are making 3 to 300 and uh, compactor is at an output side where you are making 300 to 3 obviously you need a controller as usual any of the test logic is there to control the test logic you need a controller that's what you call it as a controller plus masking logic what is these details we will come to know once we go to that so basically these are the three blocks which you need to add as a test logic which is extra to the functional okay to achieve this compression uh, performance now if you go to the uh, next level details so it looks like this so from the tester point of view it looks like a four chains scan in and scan out but internally there are more 